Hey everyone, Cedric from Vertex Marketing Agency. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create Facebook custom conversion. So I'm first gonna explain what they are and how they're actually different than a Facebook standard event and a Facebook custom event. And we're gonna show you exactly how to set them up inside Advanced Manager. So with that being said, let's get into this week's content. So let me first start with the difference between a Facebook custom conversion, a Facebook standard event, and a Facebook custom event. So let's actually start with the standard event since that's someone that probably the 99% of advertisers use. So this is actually just a simple list of custom event that uh, Facebook gives you. And if ever your website is tracking like simple things like add to card, purchase, a lead, most likely you're already using those standard events and I can even put in a, a list on the screen here. So those are actually all the standard events that Facebook has. And it's something that you set up when you set up your tracking on your website. So that is a standard event. Now for any website that needs more specific events, Facebook actually created something called a custom event. So it's the same thing as a standard event, but instead of using a default name, now you actually get to choose what you call them. So you can call it banana. You could call this new lead instead of lead, right? So you really get to pick what the name of the event is. Um, and that's what a custom event is. Now we also have custom conversions and that's a little bit different in an event. And that's actually something that you can set up inside events manager. So it's not super related with your, your tracking setup. It's more just something that you do after that uh, on the Facebook platform and inside events manager, like I just said, and you can either select, let's say a standard event and say, when um, there is a lead that has a value of $50 or more, then trigger that as a custom conversion. And that custom conversion means maybe it's like a high quality lead or maybe a low quality lead, right? So that's what a custom conversion is. It's you can use your standard event or your custom event or sometimes even like a set of rules like when a user visits a specific page and then you can create that custom conversion. And it's probably gonna make a little bit more sense when I actually show you how to do it. But then after that, that custom conversion, you can either A, use that to optimize your ads. So when you're creating like a sales or a lead campaign, when you choose the like website objective, then you can actually go and optimize for that specific custom conversion instead of a student event or a custom event. So that's number one. But then number two is you can also add that custom conversion inside your metrics. So when you go and you edit your columns inside Ads Manager, which I'm also gonna show you how to do uh, later in this video, you can go and select that custom conversion. So I'm gonna share a few different use cases so you can potentially understand a little bit better like why would you even set something up like that. So let's say you actually have a service-based company and you offer two main services and they're different. Well, maybe what you wanna do is you wanna have like a standard lead event that you send to Facebook when they opt in on one page that offers service number one, but then also when they opt in on the other page that offers service number two. So you have like a generic lead event, but then what you can do is you can go inside Ads Manager and you can say, hey, when they're actually opting in for service number one, go ahead and create this custom conversion. And when they're opting in for service number two, go ahead and create this custom conversion, right? So you can potentially use the page URL in order to identify which service they're interested in. And then that would allow you to maybe also optimize for them, but then you can also see, huh, all the leads that are actually coming from my website, they're actually all opted in for this service. So you can actually narrow it down and see which page they're actually going to to convert instead of just looking at like a, a generic lead event. And for an e-com store, one way that you could use a custom conversion is maybe to create a rule that when a user spends more than, I don't know, $100, then that would fall into the trigger to activate that custom conversion, which is maybe like a, uh, I don't know, a high quality user. Maybe that's what you wanna call it. And then maybe same thing with like a bit like the service-based company, maybe you have like different types of products that you sell on your website. So you have like, a, like one category, but then you also have like maybe another category of product well, you could create like two different custom conversions for those two categories. So again, when you're looking at your data inside Ads Manager, instead of just seeing like, oh, well, I got X, Y, Z amount of purchases this week, you can also see like, okay, well, here are the purchases that I got, but then here are maybe the products that they're buying on the site, or uh, maybe here are like, here's a specific category of products that they're actually buying. So those are some of the use case for creating and setting up custom conversions. Hopefully it makes a little bit more sense now. So it's not exactly like a standard event. Um, standard event, again, is something you do with your tracking. 
um, like when you set up your pixel, maybe it's using native integration or me like with the Shopify and Facebook, or maybe it's with Google tag manager. There's a lot of different ways of setting it up. But then once that's set up, you have that foundation, then you can go and create like the, those additional things, which are a custom conversion. But um, with that being said, now I'm actually gonna go and show you exactly how to create one. And we're actually gonna pretend that I'm implementing this for those two use cases. So one is a service-based company, and then the other one is for like an e-com company that wants to have different custom conversion based on the product category. So let's get it right into that. Okay, I'm now inside Advanced Manager, and you can navigate there if you go to your Business Manager, and if you hit the uh, little hamburger menu here, uh, it's actually right here, so it's called Advanced Manager. Then it's gonna maybe bring you to this page, or it might bring you to the overview. So if you actually put your mouse here, you're gonna see that this sidebar kinda like opens, and if you go to Data Source, you're gonna be able to see your pixel, um, and there's actually a few way, a few different ways to create a custom conversion. That's one of them, so you can click on Add Event, and you can see here, Custom Conversion. If you open this up, it's gonna show you your pixel, your data source, and you can go ahead and name your custom conversion. So that's uh, the first way. Second is to actually go to custom conversion here. And then this is actually also where you can see all the different custom conversions that you've created in the past. Um, and we have that option again, right here, custom conversion. So let's me just create it here. So the first example that I gave was for the service-based company, right? So let's say you have two different services that you offer on your website and you wanna not just send a lead event to Facebook, maybe that's what you're optimizing for, but when you go to ads manager and you look at your metrics, you wanna see like which service they're interested in. So you go here um, and then at this point, you probably wanna select just like a, your website as your action source. And then there's a few different ways that you can do it. So if I open this up, this is actually gonna show all the standard events that I've been sending to Facebook. So this is unique to this pixel. So the reason we're seeing this is this is actually uh, a pixel that is installed on an e-com store. So that's why you're seeing e-com events. Um, and I'm also not sending any custom events with this pixel. So that's also why you're not seeing it here. Um, but let's say you had a service-based company, you would probably see the lead event here. So because I don't see the lead event here, I'm not gonna start with the lead event. I'm actually just gonna start with the all URL traffic. And then what I probably wanna say or do is on my website, when they submit the form for the service number one, I redirect to a thank you page that says, I don't know, maybe it's thank you one, all right? And then this, I could name this, it would be service one. Obviously you would probably wanna give it a better name and you could also give it a description. And then I could go ahead and create that. I could also add a conversion value since this is someone, I'm pretending I have a service-based company and someone is, uh, I guess, uh, and someone is becoming a lead for a specific service. I'm not gonna add a value, but then I could go ahead and create that. and. Once I create it, now I have a custom conversion for that specific service. Now I could do the same thing. So whenever they opt in on, um, whenever they opt in for the second service, then it redirects to a different thank you page and it's maybe thank you to, and then that's the rule that I use to create my custom trigger. So that's number one. You could also do like a combination of two things. You could also say like, hey, when a lead event is triggered, but the page URL contains thank you to, then this means that's the service two. And then same thing when it contains thank you one, then that means that uh, it's that's someone that's interested in the service number one that you offer, okay? So that's for service-based companies. For e-com, what you could do, so let's say you have a lot of different products that you sell on your website. So some of them might actually be in like different categories. So for example, let's say, I don't know, you sell face cream and soap. Maybe, you know, maybe you have one category that's for face cream and another one that's for soap, or I don't know, maybe it's candles, right? So you have like different categories. So what you could do is you could go here, you could say purchase, um, and instead of URL, you can actually use event parameters but you have to make sure that you're actually sending those events. So if you have an e-com company and you're using Shopify and you're using the native Shopify and Facebook integration for your tracking, automatically when there's a purchase happening, Facebook, or I should say Shopify, is gonna send the data to Facebook. So it's already all set up for you, so that's kinda cool. Um, but if you're not using Shopify and you've set it up, let's say manually with something like Google Tag Manager, then if you wanna, create a custom conversion based on a product category or maybe like a, a specific ID of a product, then you need to make sure that you're sending that information with your purchase event just so that 
uh, Facebook has that data. So here I would select event parameter and then here I can, you can kind of see what I'm currently setting with that purchase event. You can see I'm sending value, currency, content type, content IDs, content uh, category, and that's what I'm gonna use an example. Um, and I'm gonna say when the category, uh, I could say contains or equals, um, I'm just gonna say, I don't know, candle, all right? And then I could also add a conversion value here. I'm just gonna leave it blank. And this is where I could say, you know, like uh, candle product. And I could create that. And I could do the same thing for face cream, right? So again, let's pretend that this e-com website send, <laughs> is selling candles and face cream. Then you have another custom conversion that uh, this one is for any purchase with the event parameter content category that equals face cream. And it doesn't need to be uh, a content, right? It could also be the value. Maybe you want to see like how many users purchase. Maybe you want to create a custom conversion for every user that purchased more than $100, right? So there's lots of different things that you can do with this. It really depends on what you want to do with your, I guess your Facebook ads and how you want to analyze the data. But I personally think it's pretty cool to create a custom conversion based on a specific product category or maybe like a product ID. And let's say an ads manager, you're looking at your metrics, you can see, okay, well, here's what we sold with Facebook ads. And you can maybe go to your Shopify store and see, oh, well, that's true. And same thing for a service-based company, we can, you can see like, oh, well, like I got, I don't know, today I got 10 leads and they actually uh, submitted the form here for service number one. And they submitted the form for, um, I don't know, service number two six times and then go on your store, your CRM, wherever you collect the leads and see if that's true as well and see if the data matches. So those are just a few different use cases for custom conversions. Like I said, you can really do a lot of different things with that. It kind of like is just up to your imagination. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside Ads Manager and I'm gonna show you how you can customize your columns inside your view so you can add those custom conversion. And I'm also gonna show you just really quickly how you can uh, optimize your ads based on those custom conversions. Okay, so now I'm gonna go inside Events Manager and I can just click on the hamburger menu and it's actually right here. So ads manager, that's usually how I like to navigate from one section of uh, business manager to the other. And now I'm in the business uh, or the ads manager overview. I'm gonna click on campaigns to get to the campaign level. And uh, I'm actually first gonna show you how you can go ahead and optimize for custom conversions. So it's actually done on the ad set level and doesn't matter if you're optimizing for leads or you're optimizing for sales, you should see that custom conversion. So let me go to the ad set level. Um, the reason you're seeing this is because this is set as like an e-com store. So this is why I have the website and shop option, but I'm just gonna use the website feature here. And then it's really important that you choose the pixel that is connected with that custom conversion. If not, you're not gonna see it. So now this is actually where you can choose a conversion event. Here you're gonna see all of my active events. Like I said, this is set up for an e-com store. So this is why we're seeing all the e-com standard events. And I did not create uh, the custom conversion uh, inside Advanced Manager. So that's also why you're not seeing it here, but you would actually see it here. So it would say custom conversion. And then here's, here's actually, a, I guess, a third way of creating custom conversion. You can click on this button right here and it's gonna open this up and then you can do the same thing we just did. So you can create your custom conversion here as well. Um, but this, your, but your custom conversion is going to show up here. Let's say it does not show up here after you create it. So there's a few things that I'm going to say. Number one is wait one to two business days. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay and then come back to this page, reload the page, and then you should see it here. Um, also you can go inside events manager and make sure that it was triggered by a user. Cause that would be the other thing, right? Let's say you've set that custom conversion for an e you know, for your e-com store and it's for any uh, purchase events that have a value over $200. And that's maybe not something that's typical for your company. Well, maybe the issue is that no user actually triggered that custom conversion. And that's the thing that I, I make, sure, make sure that you wanna understand. You can only optimize for that event once it has at least been triggered once. If not, for whatever reason, it's not gonna show up here. So you wanna make sure that the event gets triggered at least maybe once or twice. And it can even maybe by, be by you um, so that it shows up here and that Facebook recognize that custom conversion. That's kind of how it works. So just keep that in mind if ever you're not seeing it here, but that's how you would go about optimizing for a specific custom conversion. And that can be good if you're trying to get 
more conversions just like that type of conversion okay but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can add that to your view because that's personally what i like to do with custom conversions not so much optimize for them but more to just add it to the view to see what type of purchases maybe i'm generating or what type of leads i'm generating and to get more data that with the standard event i wouldn't be able to get so scrolling down here there's an option that says customize columns if i open this up we actually see it on the left sidebar here it says standard events or custom conversions so obviously we're going to click on custom conversions and it should show up here again if ever the custom conversion doesn't show up here then just do the same thing i just said right wait one or two business days um, and make sure that it's actually being triggered inside advanced manager and then after that it should show up here once it shows up here you're gonna have a few different options so you can definitely just add the total so that's going to show you the amount of times that con custom conversion was triggered and then i also like to just add the cost so you can see what's the cost for that custom conversion and if i scroll all the way down i can actually save this as a preset then i can give this a name and hit apply and now like i won't need to always go back to this uh to this window here to add that custom conversion is going to be saved as a as, you know as a saved preset you now know everything that you need to know about custom conversion so just to recap this video i've explained to you what is the standard event uh, what is a custom event and what is a custom conversion because those are three different things and i've also shown you how to create a custom conversion i've shown you how to optimize for a custom conversion and then also how to add this to your view but now it's up to you use your imagination and see how you can use custom conversion to get better results with facebook ads and what i'd love to know from you is how are you using custom conversion let me know in the comment section because i'm actually curious are you optimizing for a specific custom conversions or are you doing something really cool with your purchase event so you can really dig down and find what products uh, people are actually buying uh, yeah again let me know in the comment section and if you want something cool to test you can try to create a testing campaign have two ad set one ad set that is optimizing for your regular purchase event and then the other ad set that is optimizing for a custom conversion that is using a purchase event but when the event value is higher than your average order value and then see if your return on ad spend is actually better with or your roi is actually better with that ad set that'd be something cool that you could test inside ads manager and if you do that let me know the results in in the comment section but guys that is it for this video the last thing that i will say is if ever you're be interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching we are taking on more clients for one-on-one -on -one coaching and what that would look like is we actually get on a one hour weekly call plus you get messaging support so we can tackle your tracking we can tackle your facebook ad strategy your creative strategy anything really Facebook ads related or tracking related or Google Analytics 4 related is something that we can do together through coaching. So if that interests you, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. But guys, that is it. Bye for now.